I know why the caged bird sings. Singing is their only escape. I have a friend named Susie, a beautiful bird caged in by her addiction to fentanyl. She is among the many addicts I've known in my life. Hell, I was raised by some and know firsthand myself how dangerous addiction is. Susie Q was later known as Snoozy Q due to all the nodding out. The nodding out is part of the conversation. The conversation being addiction, recovery, and relapse, and how they're not a linear process. We know addiction comes in many forms. Addiction is a disease. It is often treated like a bad life choice. For me, I personally overcame my addiction to benzos through dance. Dance is my support, my therapy, and I desire to share that with others. I studied dance at Arizona State University, and during that time, I was sexually assaulted by someone I had called my quote-unquote friend. I began to abuse Xanax to feel numb and found that the only time I had felt like myself anymore was when I was moving. I was empowered to create work about the things I struggle with and the floor became my movement journal things too intimate or taboo by society to say aloud. I felt proud of my accomplishments and zealous to create connection with those healing. Snoozy Q is a dance narrative that explores the notions of hope, relapse, and recovery. Ideally, the narrative will tour rehabilitation and treatment centers. It will start off as a workshop led by myself and a group of others I will collaborate with on dance projects. These individuals are trained in trauma-informed art practices and can engage healing in a facilitated experience. This also allows us to build rapport with the centers and those recovering. The funding for the project will go towards stipends for facilitators of the workshop, donation towards centers. I am currently in active contact with Phoenix Dream Center to further discuss the workshops on site since they do not allow permission frequently to leave the property. Funding would also go towards stipend for performers for generating movement with community, for main stage, and for performing at various centers. At the conclusion of our time at each center, we will leave a program designed by me and my friend Susie. The program will have dance titles, music titles, special thanks, and will include art done by Susie, signifying her passion for ink, as well as words of inspiration she gets to share. And I quote, if you've ever experienced relapse on your path to recovery, that's okay. Just don't let those mistakes haunt you forever. Instead, rise up and ask yourself, what are you going to do about it? Learn to grow from your mistakes. Don't allow them to consume you. Susie Q.